Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? This is not a fun video to do, um, but it has to be done. I know a lot of you have been following me and I have some amazing students, amazing clients um, who will be wondering. So I'm going to talk about it today. So I had announced not that long ago, maybe a week or two ago at the most, that I was pregnant. Um, sadly, I'm not anymore. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I think it needs to be talked about more to raise awareness. Um, so that's what this video is going to be about. And then when I'm stronger, I can talk about it further and I'm happy to answer any questions anybody has. But, and this can be seen as a trigger as well, I should mention. So if the topic of miscarriage isn't something you want me to talk about, I suggest pausing this video now, or I should say not listening to this video, because that's what I'm going to talk about. So apparently, um, it's very common. My OB was telling me one in four pregnant women have a miscarriage. It does get... The statistics get more so as you age. I'm almost 40, so that is considered high risk. Apparently, age 35 and older is considered high risk. It doesn't mean you're going to have a miscarriage. It doesn't mean there's going to be complications, but it's just you're at a higher risk, you know? I did not know this. One in four is outstanding to me. I had no idea because nobody talks about it. I can understand why people don't talk about it because it's a touchy subject. And it took me a week to even say the words, so. And it doesn't always mean something's wrong either. My OB also told me the statistics, a lot of women have at least, at least one miscarriage in their lifetime, which I didn't know this either. I thought miscarriages were, you know, there's something wrong. Not necessarily that somebody wasn't doing the right things, but I thought of it as if you're smoking, drinking alcohol, okay, you have a greater chance of having a miscarriage, but that's not the case at all. But my OB did tell me the baby wasn't healthy and it's better this way. Your body was telling you that it's not the right time. I actually consider myself a strong person, but I have not been during this time. All I felt like doing was laying in bed, <laughs> and that's what I did. I was in bed all week or on the couch with my dogs, sleeping. Um, this video is more for people, not just if you're wondering, you know, why is Andrea no longer posting every two seconds about being pregnant, but it's for those of you who have had a miscarriage. I'm so sorry. But also for those of you who haven't had one but may have one. It's, I don't know if normal is the word, but it's, it could happen, but it doesn't mean anything's wrong. It doesn't mean you did something wrong, but it also doesn't mean you're not going to have a perfectly healthy baby. I keep saying this, but you know, I'm not a doctor. So I'm basically telling you what my doctor told me, not what Mr. Google told me, but what my doctor told me. My doctor said so many people have had multiple miscarriages and now have three healthy babies afterwards, you know, three healthy children afterwards. Because um, I did. I had a lot of questions. Why did this happen? How did it happen? I've been eating the healthiest I ever have in my entire life. I wouldn't even drink pop. <laughs> no sugar, although I did have a candy bar and I felt super guilty about it. Um, and my OB said, you know, it's not you. Um, but she also said, it could be you. But one miscarriage doesn't mean that. If you have another miscarriage, then we do extra tests to try to determine the problem. So that's the next part of this video is if you want to know or if you, not if you're curious, that's not the right word, but I wish I knew more about miscarriages before I had one. So that's what I want to talk about. What are the signs? What are the symptoms? And what do you do next? So the signs, symptoms are 
I, I was fine. This happened actually Sunday night. In fact, I had a CPR course that day or that night, sorry, I was fine, but I was getting cramps, you know, kind of like period cramps, like, ow, it hurts, but nothing major. Um, again, this might be too much information for some of you. So I suggest not watching this video if you don't want to hear about my signs and symptoms, but, um, I had light bleeding, which is normal. It's called implantation bleeding. My doctor did tell me about that the week prior, but unfortunately Sunday night, there was a lot of bleeding, um, a lot. Um, and I was in pain. I had such bad cramps. I was literally like crippling over like this over the counter. I couldn't stand when, when I walked, I walked with a limp. I was in that much pain. I knew something was wrong. <laughs> you know, I knew something was wrong. It was Sunday night. I'm not the type of person to, to go to a doctor, even if I'm sick. Um, I just kind of waited out. I'm not the type of person to go to the hospital either because I don't want to sit there, wait for three hours and not be seen, wait for 12 hours. You know, I hear all kinds of horror stories. So it's Sunday night. What am I going to do? Right. Um, if it was say Monday afternoon, I would have called my doctor and said, this is what's happening. What do I do? But it was Sunday night. So I just kind of I didn't automatically think right away something's wrong. I just thought, ooh, okay, I'm just one of those people. I'm in a lot of pain right now. I don't know why. Maybe I work too hard today. I'm bleeding a lot. But, you know, everybody's different. But it just kept happening, you know. The next day, bleeding more. Um, you just kind of know or feel when something's wrong, you know. So I went to the doctor's. I was so upset, so scared, and they could tell because, well, I couldn't stop crying. <laughs> and they basically ask you, what are your symptoms? You know, bleeding could be normal, but tell me how, how much it is. What is the color? You can look that up on Google too. And she basically said, it sounds like you're having a miscarriage. Um, I was quite early, meaning I was six weeks pregnant, maybe seven weeks. I didn't even have an ultrasound yet, so that wasn't even confirmed just by doing the math from the date of my last period. So if you are that early, usually from what my OB says, your body can get rid of everything on its own. But sometimes there's a medication they can give you that basically, and I might not be saying this properly or in the right way, but forces your uterus to expel everything quicker and then if that doesn't work there's a surgery you can do where they go in and clean out your uterus again i might not be saying that properly but i was very early so she said i don't think you need any of those things you just have to go home take it easy your body will take care of it on its own but she did say um, cause I did ask her like, how long is this bleeding going to go on for? Like, I'm afraid I'm losing too much blood. Sorry guys, but it's true. Um, I was very weak, dizzy, um, but it could have just been emotions as well. She said it could last up to two weeks. Um, but usually it's going to last a week. If it's longer than that, give me a call, but it could last up to two weeks. And I thought, oh my God, you know, so you go through something like this which is hard enough and then you have physical pain it was like nothing i had ever experienced so the next step was to get a blood test and what i just said i don't like doctors don't like hospitals i don't even like getting my blood tested i think i mentioned in one of my videos i, I need to lay down but that does help so I said to her, because I do question doctors, I'm that patient. <laughs> I said to her, why am I getting my blood test done if it's pretty obvious what's happening? Like, why put myself through that? I just want to go home and curl up in a ball and not be seen in public right now. And she said, well, they need to monitor your levels. HCG, I might be saying that wrong too, but they need to monitor my levels. Um, when you're pregnant, your HCG levels are higher. When you're not, 
it's lower and goes down or is non-existent. So she said, I would like you to take one blood test soon. So we have a baseline for those levels and then take another one in four or five days so we can make sure it's going down. But I still don't see the point of doing that because I mean, anyway, so I didn't get my blood tested just because I was so weak, so tired, the shock of everything. I couldn't even make an appointment with the doctor without crying. So how am I going to go <laughs> in public? I just, I didn't want to embarrass myself as silly as that sounds, because when you're crying, of course, people are going to look at you like, oh my God, what's the matter with her? And that's basically what I felt like at the doctor's office, you know? which I don't blame people, but they're kind of like, and the nurse rushed me into a room right away, probably so I don't upset other clients. <laughs> I don't blame her, but anyway, so I haven't had my blood tested yet, but what I've decided to do is I'm going to wait another week. If my bleeding doesn't stop, then I'll get my blood tested just to be sure everything's okay because then she did say if you don't get your blood tested well that's fine but then we're never going to know if you've had the full miscarriage i guess what can happen sometimes and again this is an informative video i wish i knew this before i had mine so this is for those of you who want to be informed she said um if those levels don't go down then you might need to take another blood test a week later just to see maybe it's taking it lo your body longer for those levels to go down. But if they don't go down, then we might need to have an ultrasound to see why. We might need to clean out your uterus for you if those levels don't go down. And or you could have a false positive pregnancy test in the future, which is not fun for anybody. You know, you don't want to get excited and then realize you're not pregnant, but then you also don't not want to know you're pregnant if you are. So that I get. So I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm not going to take the blood test. I still don't even feel like going out in public. Um, it's hard to explain, but... I feel like everybody knows and I don't want to talk about it. So I don't want people to ask me about it. But of course people don't know because I haven't told them. <laughs> but I'm okay to stay in my little bubble for now. But what I think I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to wait another week until I get stronger. And then I will probably get those blood tests just to confirm. I do think that will make me feel better that I've expelled everything I'm supposed to because Adrian and I would like to keep trying to have a baby. And what I don't want to happen is for my HCG levels to never go down and then I think I'm pregnant when I'm not or, you know, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. So in this case, I guess I will listen to the doctor and do that. But what I don't want to do is get a blood test now. It's going to be so hard for me. I am so weak, you, um, you guys. Like, do I look whiter to you? I feel so weak. TMI. I've lost so much blood. I didn't even know I had that in me. Like, it's crazy. So I can't imagine going, getting my blood tested in this weakened state as it is, and they're taking more blood. And then if those HCG levels don't go down, I have to go back again a couple weeks later. So I think I just prefer to wait a week or two, maybe a week, and then I'll kind of make that decision then, get that blood test to confirm everything. So yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. Um, so I hope this video helps, if not to just inform people. Apparently, miscarriages are very normal. Again, I don't know if normal is the right word, but it happens to a lot of people. Doesn't mean anything's wrong, but it could mean something's wrong. Um, my OB told me usually if your miscarriage, if a miscarriage happens again, it could be a genetic issue. I don't know of anything in my family per se. My sister had a very healthy baby boy in June. So yay, that's a good sign, right? But I'm also 10 years older than my sister, so oh, we shall see. I had all these videos prepared on my pregnancy. I took those off of my scheduled videos to publish. Those are no longer there. But 
Um, I hope it happens again. Not the miscarriage, obviously, but a pregnancy. Um, I wouldn't have done anything different. You know, I see why people don't tell people they're pregnant until three months afterwards, because apparently the chances of having a miscarriage does go down after three months, but it still does happen. Um, I see why people don't say they're pregnant, but you know what? Adrian and I were so excited. Um, I, I would not do anything differently. In fact, if I get pregnant again, I'm going to tell you guys again. I'm going to tell family, everybody again. Um, I'm going to be so excited, but also scared. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I did not think this could happen. I've been through so much so much this year my brother passed away in june july oh my god july and now this it's not fair is it? anyway boohoo to me <laughs> if anybody has any questions i am very happy to answer them because i do believe this needs to be talked about how it happens in one in four females. I mean, come on. I did not know this. And I feel that would have not helped me through this process, but it would have, I would have known what to expect. I wouldn't have felt so alone. Does that make sense? This is a very lonely feeling. My family lives in Ontario. And of course, it's not an easy flight to come to Winnipeg. It's two flights. They usually get canceled. <laughs> In the summer, they do offer direct flights, but not now. So it's been tough. I don't think I've ever felt so alone. <laughs> but, you know, you nobody can say the right thing. It's It's nobody's fault, but you just feel like you're internalizing everything if that makes sense it's it's really hard you guys it's really hard so i took a week off that's a nice thing with working for myself is i can do that um i canceled all of my live classes my my live tutoring classes for the week thank you to all those amazing students who have been patient with me by the time you're watching this video i haven't told anybody yet just immediate family um so i didn't post anything online i did not tell my students i'm going to post something after this video gets published um but i took the full week off i needed it i feel better in the sense that i feel stronger you know time really does heal i'm glad i didn't push myself i took those days to literally sleep in bed all i did was lay in bed um I was in immense pain, you know, cramping pain where I couldn't do anything. Um, Advil and Tylenol together really does help. I'm not a doctor, so please don't go take Advil and Tylenol if you're in extreme pain for anything. Please talk to your doctor, but I don't like taking medication either. Um, Painkillers, no way, but I needed something. I was in so much pain, so I'm glad I allowed myself to do that. My body allowed myself to heal it's taking my body longer to heal um for sure my ob said it can take anywhere from a couple days to a couple weeks i think it's going to take a couple weeks i'm still in pain but not the same type of pain as i was so i'm glad i took the week off oh my goodness this is a almost 20 minute video sorry guys but thank you guys for listening um i hope i'm gonna have some good news eventually for you guys we are gonna keep trying we are both very sad very disappointed in shock that it happened just you know you never think bad things are gonna happen to you right like you just don't but they do <laughs> bad things happen to good people don't they but yeah oh it's tough it's tough thank you guys for listening and i'll definitely talk to you guys soon i have some scheduled videos coming of dental related stuff tutoring stuff so no more sad videos for me but i wanted to get this out there just to raise awareness and to talk about it and 
email me anytime if anybody needs somebody to talk to. If you've suffered through the same thing, no, you're not alone. Um, I understand why people don't talk about it. I do. But I feel like it has to be talked about more. And just so you guys know, I'm healthy. There's no issues. I was eating healthy, doing whatever I could. I'm not on medications. So bad things can just happen, you know, but I don't want to say I believe everything happens for a reason, but I kind of do. But I also feel it's not fair. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for listening. No more sad videos, I promise. And I'll talk to you guys very soon, okay? Bye for now.